Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to another episode analysis of Miraculous Ladybug. And if you weren't aware, we recently got Star Train, or actually we did today. So uh, if you didn't know that, then go watch it. Now, I'm going to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more from this episode, but that's all right. We st I mean, we I expected that we would see Max's transformation into Pegasus, and that came true, but the other thing I was expecting was to see space powers. Now, I understand why we didn't, they just probably didn't have enough time, but it was the perfect opportunity to introduce them, but then again, we don't even know if there will be space powers, because they did talk about it at like a Comic-Con panel or something, but that was pretty old, and they may have changed that system of how they do things, so we don't even know if there is an official space power, but if there is, this would have been the perfect opportunity to introduce it, and they didn't in this episode, so that was the one thing that I was expecting that I didn't get, but that's alright. Can we just start off by saying, like, what happened to Sabrina's father? Like, what happened to his hair? <laughs> like, <laughs> when I first saw that, I was like, wait a minute. what What's going on here? But, uh, like, it's not always been like that, right? Like, was there just, like, a time skip just for him? Like, where he got older or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to mention that. And, I don't know, I just thought that that was weird. But overall, the concept of this episode was pretty cool. Like, they were going to London, and we didn't get to see any action in London, which would have been cool, but then again, it doesn't really fit in with this episode. But it was cool that we got to see a new character, Max's mother, and the fact that she wanted to be an astronaut. Now, if there is space powers, I'm pretty sure that she will be akumatized again to become an... well... I don't know, but I think we will see her involving space again if there are space powers to where Ladybug and Cat Noir have to go to space. Honestly, what would they use space powers for though? Like the occasion of them having to go to space is so rare, I, they may have even cut that from their thing. But it was a cool concept and overall this episode was pretty good. I mean, it's not like it was a bad episode. It had some plot stuff because we got to saw Pegasus and I mean, overall, that's what I look for in this show is just seeing that progression, moving away from just Ladybug and Kate Noir and starting to introduce new characters and that's what we got with this episode. Now we did get some more info on Pegasus other than just from Party Crasher, but which that's to be expected since this is like the introduction episode to Pegasus. But basically, he has the power of teleportation, and it does seem like he can he can teleport to anywhere in the world. It's just probably the more he knows about it, or the specific location or thing in mind that he has of it. Like, if he has a specific address that he needs to go to, then he can pinpoint right there. But if he's just saying, I need to go to London, and then just somewhere with the Big Ben, because that's commonly associated with London then he just gets put somewhere into London. So that's one thing that we learned, that the coordinates can be fairly precise, but if he's not too familiar with where he's teleporting to, then it will be less and less precise, depending on how much he knows. Another thing with his transformation, I thought that that was pretty cool. Honestly, I'm kind of confused. Like, his power is teleportation, and okay, that's pretty cool. But his theme of the Pegasus is like... I, I don't know, it seems to be robotic, but then, like, eh, I don't know. I guess portals and, like, technology and stuff kind of go together, but it was just kind of odd that that's what it was. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just crazy or something, but I don't know. That was one thing I wanted to talk about, I guess. And then we did get to see his weapon uh, in this episode, and it's like a horseshoe boomerang, so that's pretty cool. We got another hero with, well, I, I guess Viperion has this harp that he can throw, but uh, this, like, is like a cool horseshoe. Another thing I wanted to talk about was Markov. In the beginning of this episode, he was able to identify Adrian with, like, face recognition software. And I, I, I don't know. I feel like Markov should be able to tell who these superheroes are. Like, at least Max. And with that assumption, he could probably write some sort of code himself to figure out who all the superheroes are based on the face structure and how similar they look. I, I don't know. That's just me being picky about this kind of stuff. But Markov just... You know what? If Markov... Markov probably knows all the superhero identities, but since he's so smart now, uh, he, he doesn't reveal them because he knows what will happen or something. 
but uh, that's just my new theory is hashtag Markov knows all. There, there we go. <laughs> Another thing, when Gabriel found out that Adrian was in space, first of all, I expected him to freak out a lot more than he did. Second of all, I thought that he would be mad for, like, not telling him that he was on a field trip or whatever. And just overall, Gabriel, I didn't think, reacted in the way that he normally would. I, I don't know. I feel like... Uh, they, he would have reacted differently if they had spaced this episode out further because they actually could have, like, if he had turned into a Hawkmoth to akumatize someone else to go save the train, I feel like we could have seen that, but then again, he wouldn't have time in this episode. But if they split the episode into, like, two separate episodes, then they would have time for it. Hey, guess what? I've been saying that for, like, the past couple of episodes. If they split it up into two, they don't have to rush through it and they can preserve uh, the quality of this show. The thing I was honestly expecting from this episode, and what I think would have gathered, uh, or would have created a more interesting episode, was Ladybug and Cat Noir obviously are on the train because they're Marinette and Adrian, and they're both in the class, and they're both on the field trip, whatever, we get that. But then they give Max the horse Miraculous, they themselves teleport back to Paris, and then they get more Miraculouses, and they get space powers, and then they come back to uh the thing after the, they've all rested up for a little bit well then again would they be able to would max be able to teleport back to the train anyway uh that's not important this is just what i thought was going to happen um they would teleport back they would give carapace and nino uh minus chloe but that would have been like chloe was kind of sad in this uh, episode like i kind of felt bad for her in this episode but i mean that's all her fault for being the way she is i guess i don't know but uh, I was just expecting them to go back, get more heroes, and then uh, get uh, at least get like space powers. I was at least expecting them to go back and get space powers, but they didn't. Uh, so that's just what I was expecting, and would have given me a more like I, I don't know, like a better sensation, like Party Crasher was, as far as just seeing a bunch of heroes instead of just seeing like oh it's Ladybug, Cat Noir, and another hero. But then again, we do have to just have like the one episode where we see the new character. But then again. Uh, Party Crasher had a bunch of other characters too, so I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's just what I thought, and I think that that's all that I'm going to talk about. I'm just kidding. All right, all right, guys, just relax. We're getting to it. I know you guys are all probably screaming if you haven't written the comment down already, being like, oh, why didn't you talk about the Adrian Ed stuff? Because you guys will get mad at me if I don't, so I have to. <laughs> so, um, I was honestly laughing throughout this part because I thought, I just thought that that was funny. So, uh, actually, it was done perfectly, too, since Marinette was tired, like, they even, I don't know, just everything seemed to flow pretty well in this episode, like, everything tied back to the very beginning, so Marinette was tired at the beginning of the episode, so then she fell asleep on the train, that's pretty, like, that's what you'd expect, right? And then just Alia comes in there and clutch and is like, hey, let's swap seats with me, I want to sit with Nino, and then, uh, boom, it happened, and then just, we got those cool photos of Marinette and Adrian sleeping together. So that was pretty cool. And I think a lot of the fans, like it's just fan service at this point, but it's it's funny and I was laughing. And then just everyone's reaction, cause everybody knows what's up with that. And even Lila tried to stop it. Um, and that brings up a point of, did Marinette uh, indirectly cause this documentization? And I came up with no. Uh, and you, there's there could be some argue there, but overall, I don't think it was Marinette because Lila, if anyone was sitting with Adrian sleeping, then Lila would get defensive of Adrian just in general, no matter who it was. So she would try to put a stop to that. So in conclusion, the akumatization was directly, well, I guess it was indirectly caused by Lila because it was directly caused by Sabrina who went to open up the suitcase. So it was indirectly caused by Lila, not, and then that indirectly caused by Lila was not due to Marinette. It was just due to somebody sleeping with Adrian. So that's kind of what happened there. So it was indirectly caused by Lila, which, I mean, she's caused a lot of accumulation. So that's another thing. But Marinette still has caused more. I guarantee it. But yeah, overall, this was a pretty cool episode. I liked it. Not as much as Ladybug, but it's going to be really hard to beat Ladybug. Like, the season finale is going to have to be, like, really good. It's going to just 
have to blow me away or else it's just not going to compare but uh, yeah so that's going to be it for this video if you did enjoy you can leave a like and subscribe for more content similar to this hey guess what tomorrow new episode feast yeah it's feast and that one is going to be amazing because i'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing some jade turtle so that's going to be awesome just a bunch of lore with the series so i'm really excited for tomorrow but uh yeah that's going to be it for me and i'll talk to you guys later goodbye